This is the best draft season ever with Miami Dolphins. Today is a huge day. It's a big day for Miami Dolphins because of what's going on in Fargo. Miami Dolphins tight end draft of all time, hits, misses and trends. Have a look at new WR prospect for Miami Dolphins in 2021 NFL Draft. The Miami Dolphins backup plan in center. Subscribe now my friend. Monday is a huge day for the Dolphins' 2021 draft. Monday marks a week and a half until the start of the 2021 NFL draft. The Miami Dolphins have as much riding on this year's draft as any team. The Dolphins committed heavily to a rebuilding efforts two years ago and are beginning to turn the tide of the standard for the Dolphins entering 2021. Miami is coming off just their second 10-win season since 2008 and narrowly missed the postseason in 2020. The Dolphins will need a big hit in this year's draft to help push the team to the next level and into contender status. But Monday isn't just a huge day for bringing the draft closer. It's a huge day for the Dolphins because of what is going on in Fargo, North Dakota. And it's a huge day for reasons that have nothing to do specifically with the Miami Dolphins. Quarterback Trey Lance is holding his second pro day on Monday in Fargo and one of two potential domino teams in front of Miami the Atlanta Falcons, will be sending a full house to the event to watch Lance throw the ball around the field. Atlanta, who picks fourth in the 2021 NFL draft order and is the first team in the queue who isn't assumed to be taking a quarterback, has Matt Ryan under contract but the team could very easily be in play for a signal caller thanks to a new head coach and a new general manager in the building. If the Falcons like what they see in Fargo and end up drafting Lance at number four overall, the Dolphins will be guaranteed to have one of Tay Kyle Pitts and W.R. Jamar Chase available to them at number 6 overall. Alternatively, Lance could sell another team to trade the farm to Atlanta to make a deal and draft Lance at number 4 for themselves. The specifics shouldn't concern Miami, but the more quarterbacks that get drafted in front of the Dolphins, the better. And Lance will be the last quarterback to try to sell a team on his services this spring. So while the events of Monday have nothing to do specifically with the Miami Dolphins, they have everything to do with the Miami Dolphins all the same. So in your opinion, where will Trey Lance go? Will the Falcons love him or Pitts? Just say even the most heartbreaking thing. Miami Dolphins tight end draft of all time, hits, misses and trends. The Miami Dolphins have selected 40 tight ends in their history, but none in the first round. As we head into the home stretch to the 2021 NFL Draft, it's a good time to revisit the Miami Dolphins' draft history at every position. In this draft series, we'll break down each position with number of picks since the start of the common draft in 1967, first-round selections, hits and misses, and any trends that might apply. We continue with the tight end position, Dolphins' tight end draft history. Number of picks, 40. Number of first-round picks, Zero. Hits. Jim Mandick, Round 2, 1970. Bruce Hardy, Round 9, 1978. Farrell Edmonds, Round 3, 1988. Randy McMichael, Round 4, 2002. Charles Clay, Round 6, 2011. Dion, Dion Sims, Round 4, 2013. Mike Jasicki, Round 2, 2018. Misses. Lowered McCreary, Round 2, 1976, Michael Ignew, Round 3, 2012, Trends. Well, the thing that clearly stands out is indicated by the zero next to number of first round picks. The Dolphins are one of five teams that have never taken a tight end in round one, along with Minnesota, Washington, Tennessee and Carolina. It's also interesting to note that Jasicki was the first tight end the Dolphins took in the second round since 1976. How the Dolphins have done. While Jasicki could be on his way there, the Dolphins truly have never had a dominant tight end in the mode of a Travis Kelsey or George Kittle or Darren Waller. The only player at the position drafted by the Dolphins to make the Pro Bowl was Farrell Edmonds, who was selected twice long before he became the father of three NFL players, Tremaine, Terrell and, Tremaine, Terrell and Trey. Interestingly, the Dolphins neglected the tight end position during Dan Marino's Hall of Fame career with Edmonds the only player drafted before the fourth round. After Edmonds, the Dolphins also got good mileage out of Randy McMichael as a fourth-round pick and later Charles Clay as a sixth-round selection. 
But even though Jasiki could be on his way and the Dolphins doubled up with solid two-way, blocking and receiving, player Durham Smythe in the fourth round, the Dolphins have yet to have that major hit with a tight end in the draft, maybe that changes this year with Kyle Pitts. Would you love this scenario? Just say even the crazy news prospect for Miami Dolphins in 2021 NFL Draft. If the Miami Dolphins draft according to expectations in two weeks, we'll be seeing the team welcome a new pass catcher into the fray with their earliest NFL draft selection. But Miami's bid to build the best supporting cast possible isn't going to be achieved with a single selection. The Dolphins have plenty of work to do in order to build out their receiver room and ensure quarterback Tua Tungavailoa has everything he needs to succeed. The Dolphins are currently looking to fill a number of needs but the opportunity to take a swing at double dipping with wide receivers will be tempting. Miami has three selections currently scheduled for day three of the 2021 NFL Draft and in a deep class of wide receivers, value may be found with one of those selections that may not otherwise be there in your average class. So which receiver would be appealing to Miami in the later portions of the draft? Auburn's Anthony Schwartz may be one to watch. Miami needs speed and, explo speed and explosive plays in order to take their offense to the next level and few receivers in this year's class are faster than Schwartz. Credited with a 4.26 s 40-yard dash at the Auburn Pro Day, this is a player who has ample speed and has flashed playmaking ability with the ball in his hands. Some of Schwartz's best work comes on plays similar to that of Jakeem Grant, as a vertical receiver and on designed touches in the quick game to allow for run after the catch. His straight line speed is easy to grasp when you realize his background, he's a highly successful track athlete. And because he's a bit raw as a route runner, there should be a window to secure Schwartz's blinding speed and potential later in the draft. So while the opportunity to target Schwartz shouldn't define anything Miami does earlier in the draft, if he's on the board for the team in day three, he's certainly worth consideration given what Miami does and doesn't have secured long-term in the receiver room. So, does Anthony Schwartz deserve? Will Dolphins? The Miami Dolphins backup plan in center. From all indications, the Miami Dolphins do not appear to be finished with retooling their offensive line. We saw Miami end up starting three rookies along their offensive line group by the end of 2020, an indicator of just how little pre-established talent existed up front but also a cause for optimism down the road. And then the offseason happened, with changes guaranteed at center with the Dolphins swapping out Ted Karras for Matt Skura in the middle. But the signing of Skura wasn't the only one the Dolphins were ready to make, the team had an offer to New England Patriots center David Andrews on the table after signing Skura and they were reportedly ready to honor it. That interest in Andrews doesn't guarantee Miami will draft a center, but it does indicate that the team wants to upgrade the middle. An upgrade could be found courtesy of the draft at a number of turns. Alabama's Landon Dickerson is the most obvious fit for a number of reasons between his style of play, his, statu his stature and his prior working experience with Tua Tungavailoa. But Dickerson, despite injury issues, is likely still going to be a top 50 pick, meaning he'll be a hot commodity. What if the Dolphins miss? The next obvious connection is Wisconsin Whitewater's Quinn Miners, who the Dolphins coached at the 2021 Senior Bowl. He's got guard, center position flexibility and shares the same alma mater was co-offensive coordinator Eric Studsville. The NFL, like everything else, is a relationships business just as much as anything else. Oh, right, and Miners is also confirmed to hit the thresholds that each of Miami's major line transactions over the last two years seems to indicate matter at the position, too. But Miners has become a household name thanks to his inspiring story and the warm embrace of his bare-bellied look in Mobile. The expectation is that he, too, could be a second-round pick. At the very least it seems like he'll hear his name called in the top, in the top 100 picks is there a day three option out there for Miami? Absolutely. His name is Trey Hill, from the University of Georgia. Solomon Kindley's old running mate with the Bulldogs is a power center who checked in at his pro day at 319 pounds. Hill would be a strong fit for the Dolphins with his ability to generate movement in one-on-ones in the middle and his surprising lateral mobility for a blocker of his stature. Playing next to guard Ben Cleveland in 2020, Hill showed he's fully capable of being a mauler and he's got ample experience in the middle of the Bulldog front, 
Those experienced helped him stay active in communications up front to ensure Georgia had the right calls in. If Miami prioritizes other positions early in the draft, look for Trey Hill to be a day three contender for the Dolphins. Miami doesn't need to force the issue at any individual position, so knowing players like Hill should be out there on the third day of the 2021 draft should help keep the team focused on finding the best combination of players period at trying to strategize drafting for need. Can this happen or not? Or something else will happen, Dolphins fans?